In previous videos, we have presented quite a few basic photographic operations that we need to know if we want to make a photo with the help of transparent digital negatives. The first condition is the quality application of the sensitizer. We need to know the correct way to scan a printed image. It is very important to set the correct print parameters and choose the right exposure time. And only when we know these basic photographic operations, we can make the right transparent digital negative. So now it's time to discover how we make a transparent digital negative in practice. First, we apply a sensitizer to a small piece of paper and determine the base exposure time. We can use the photographic process by covering the paper, but the printing time can also be determined using a step tablet. When the basic printing time is detected, the desired printing parameters are selected and the whiteness is checked. So we apply a sensitizer to the paper and cover it with a transparent film. We gradually lighten the paper and check for whiteness. We have now been given the exact time of printing. In the next step, we print one of the selected gray tables. We can get them at easydigitalnegatives.com. In our case, we will use a table with 256 cells. Because the results are much better if we use multiple grayscale tables, it is best to print two tables on a paper sheet. Due to coding errors, it is best to turn one of the tables upside down. We expose the tables with the exact printing time and develop them. Once the samples are dry, they are scanned and cropped to the appropriate size. In our case, the sample size is 1507 by 1507 pixels. Now let's use the Easy Digital Negatives program. If we want to use the program on our home computer, we go to easydigitalnegatives.com and we click on the Downloads menu. After downloading the EDN2 zip file to our home computer, we unzip it to the desired folder. To run the EDN program, we double-click the index.html file. The program can also be used online. In this case, we go to easydigitalnegatives.com. We place the mouse over the Run menu and click the EDN2 command. In the program, we first select the type of files in which the samples are stored. We can use images, as in our case, or a spectrophotometer file. We drag the scan sample file, it is even better to use more sample files, to the Choose File button, or the Browse button. The program calculates the necessary corrections of the transparent film in a thousandth of a second. We save the corrections to our computer by clicking on the desired type of correction file. If we are using Adobe Photoshop, it is best to use the Adobe Gradient Map file. In case we are using the GIMP program, it is best to use the GIMP Gradient file. However, in most other digital photo editing programs, we can use corrections stored in a LUT file. Easy Digital Negative can also create a file that shows how a photo will look on paper. To download this file to our computer, we click on the Screen Proof LUT link. Now that the program has made the corrections, we can make our first photo. In the selected program, we will use Adobe Photoshop, we open the desired photo. We change the photo to a black and white image with Image, Adjustments, Desaturate command. Since the photo is almost always slightly edited before printing the negative, we load the screen proof file into the program. We go to the Adjustments area and upload the LUT file. The LUT file brings the image on the screen as close to the image's appearance on paper. Now we can start processing the image. When our editing is finished, we add a correction to the photo. In our case, we will add a gradient map. We go to the adjustments area and load the gradient map with the correction. Now we invert the image and then mirror it. The negative is printed with pre-selected print parameters. And now, another truth that is known to only a few modern alternative photographers. When a photo is first printed, it is not yet the final product. 
The image printed on paper, must be inspected and changed according to the printed color values to such an extent, that it becomes a real work of art. Because, white on paper is never the same as white on a computer screen. And of course, I didn't forget, why is Easy Digital Negative such a popular program for making corrections of transparent digital negatives? Because it works in all operating systems, with all types and models of printers, and is intended for all photographic processes. And above all, if we want to make a negative correction and screen proof file, it is enough to drag an image of a gray table into the program. And that's all. Thank you for your time. Next week, we'll learn how to increase the dynamic range of tones on a negative using EDN color blocker. <laughs>